Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at some nonlinear equations and functions, and we're going to see if we can uh, interpret them graphically and then use this to help us solve equations. Right. Okay, so let's get straight into a question here. Look, right. We've got to find any positive solutions to this equation, right? So we've got no graphs in sight here. We've got one variable, and we've got to try and find the answers. Now, um, we are not going to start moving things around. We are going to just think very carefully, because actually, this could be represented graphically, right? If I imagined I could plot on a graph y equals x squared, right? And then on a separate graph to that, well, I could also plot y equals 1 over x plus x. Now, if I can find the point of intersection of those two graphs, well, those x coordinates of that point of intersection are going to be where x squared is equal to 1 over x plus x, and that's going to help me to solve my original question. So in summary, what I'm going to be doing is plotting these two graphs, looking for the intersection point, and then we're just going to read off those answers. Nice and simple. Now, this video doesn't cover how to do this on the TI-84 um, or any other calculator. I'll be using a Desmos application. So here's the graphs. Look, plotted on Desmos, but you can do this on your calculator, on your graphical calculator. The red one is uh, x squared. That blue one is y equals 1 over x plus x. So the only point of intersection we have is here, right? So this x coordinate is going to be our answer. And you can see, look, there it is, 1.466. Okay. So let's write that down as our answer. X is equal to 1.466. Now, the Y value is irrelevant here. It's just uh, something we helped us to, to draw the graphs, right? Okay, we kind of made it up where there wasn't a Y in the original question. It's only the X's we are looking at. Okay, so that's a nice basic idea of how we can use graphs to solve equations. Now, let's take a look at something a little more complex now. Okay, so... The question is to describe three different ways to solve one different equation using graphical methods. OK, so, well, we can do this. I can certainly see one way, because just like in the last example, right, we could plot y is equal to the left and y is equal to the right hand side of that equation and work out the solutions. So y equals x squared plus 1 over x minus 6x could be plotted as a graph on your graphical calculators and the line y equals 4. So let's just jump in and do that and see what happens. Okay, so underneath you can see, look, okay, here are the two lines and we have some solutions, don't we? So what we would do is we would focus in on where those intersection points are and we would go and write down the x coordinate of each one and those would be our solutions now i've done that already i can tell you the x coordinates they're minus 0 0.779 um, and you can try and check these yourself on your calculator 0 0.195 and this one over here is 6.584 so that is one way we could certainly solve this okay but here's where it gets interesting there are many many ways we could solve this equation so what we could do is we could manipulate this equation and change it by using our techniques to change equations and it would still work so a really obvious example here it would just be to add 6x to both sides and then we would have x squared plus 1 over x is equal to 6x plus 4 so this is saying well okay i could also plot y equals x squared plus 1 over x, and then 6x plus 4, and that would also give me the exact right answers. So remember, the answers are, we've already found them out, minus 0 0.779, 0 0.195, and 6.584. Well, if I plot those graphs, let's take a look at that we get exactly the same answers, right? That point there is minus 0 0.779 for its x coordinate. There's another crossing here, which is 0 0.195. And look, just for the final proof, there's another one up here, and that has an x coordinate of 6.584. 
the x coordinates of intersection are identical, right? When we do that graph and that original graph as well. Now, again, you can probably make up another one now. We could plot y equals x squared, for example, right? Okay, let's write this out. So I could manipulate that again in a different way and just write out y equals x squared and y is equal to negative one over x plus six x plus four. Because that is equivalent to the original expression because you've moved things around in this certain way that's going to give us the same answers as well and look here they are down here just to prove this to you can you see that look you've got an intersection point just to the left of zero again minus 0 0.779 you've got one okay again look there uh, 0 0.195 and exactly the same one again look there's another one up there which is 6.584 it's equivalent every single way you do this. So this is a really powerful way of helping us to use um, graphs to help us solve equations.